Hi, this is Trent Martin with Columbus Epoxy Flooring. And for the tip of the week, I would like to discuss the importance of conducting a vapor transmission test before installing any epoxy or polymer floor coating. Um, the typical method for in, or conducting a, a vapor transmission test would be a calcium chloride. Um, it's a simple one by one foot uh, square that we have to grind out on the floor. We and simply lay a calcium chloride dish, uh, measure it, the weight before, and when we go to pick it up, uh, but it's normally about 60 to 72 hours later. Uh, we measure it then after, and then the weight um, that it gathered from the vapor will then tell us uh, what level of transmission we have coming up through the concrete. Um, it's important to conduct these tests simply because every slab of concrete has a uh, some level of vapor transmission coming up through the concrete. Um, but it's important to know how much, because if it exceeds a certain point, it's not acceptable for most floor coatings, which uh, if it does exceed a certain amount, um, you just simply need to lay a epoxy vapor guard, which will then lower the transmission to an acceptable level, and then you can proceed to install the floor coating. Um, I'd like to just um, stress the importance of conducting a calcium chloride test. Many uh, epoxy installers don't address this issue, and if you don't address this issue and you do have a vapor transmission uh, problem or an excessive level, it can delaminate the coating and uh, potentially ruin your investment and uh, become more costly down the road. This is Trent Martin with Clumps Epoxy Flooring and that was your tip of the week. Thanks for watching.